This question is directly off of College Board's practice test number seven, section four, number 34. So let's go straight into this question. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in a video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be personally mentoring you until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, point C is the center of the circle above. What fraction of the area of the circle is the area of the shaded region? So essentially what we're looking for is what fraction of the circle is the shaded region? And how you would find that is by putting the shaded region over the total. And if you simplify it, that would give you the answer, which is going to be the fraction of the shaded region. So what normally people would do is find the area of the shaded using the sector area formula, which can be calculated by pi r squared times theta over 360, right? But here's one problem. We can't find the area of the sector because we are missing the radius. Like, you know the angle, you can put it in there, but we don't know what the radius is, so you will, won't be able to find out what the area of the sector is. But what some bright students would try is they're going to plug in a radius on their own. If radius is the issue, I'll come up with my own radius. They would come up with the radius, plug it into the formula, find out the sector, find the total, and find out the fraction of the shaded region. This method works, it's just that it takes you a very long time. It's like a slow method, right? And when you're under a time pressure, you want to go for the fastest possible method. So how can you use the faster method? It's by using the uh, sector area formula. You have to actually understand how sector area formula works. So there's two components to it. First one is going to be the area of the sector or area of the whole circle known as pi r squared. And you're going to be multiplying that by the theta over 360, right? Which is just going to be angle over 360. Most people just memorize this equation, but you have to understand how these actually work. Most people think uh, angle over 360 is just angle over 360, but what you're missing is that this actually represents the fraction of the circle. Here's what I mean. Let's say we have a circle right here, and let's say we are trying to find the area of a semicircle. Obviously, the area of the semicircle is going to be one half of the total circle. So you would just do pi r squared times one half, right? But if you were to use the sector area formula, it would just come out to pi r squared times 180 over 360, right? Because the angle here would be 180. And if you think about it, this 180 right here can be simplified down to 18 over 36, which comes down to one half, right? So do you see how there is going to be a matching set of numbers here? Is it a coincidence that they are matching? No, they're matching because they represent the exact same thing. They represent the fraction of the circle. To find the area of a semicircle, you can either multiply it by one half or multiply it by 180 over 360, which also represents one half, which both represent the fraction of the circle. To find the half of the circle, you multiply by half. So if you were to go backward, you can find out what fraction of the circle you're finding based on this angle over 360 portion right there. In this equation right here, what fraction of the circle are we finding? We're finding 180 over 360 or one half of it because this angle over 360 portion represents the fraction of the circle we are finding. And if we were to apply the same logic to our question right here, to find the area of the shaded region, it would be just pi r squared times 100 over 360, which is this angle right here. And to find out what fraction of the area of the circle it is, we just have to look at this number right here, which is the angle over 360. If we were to simplify this, it would be 0, 0, which would become 10 over 36, which becomes 5 over 18. Because angle over 360 portion tells us what fraction of the circle we're finding, we can look at 100 over 360 and say that, okay, this shaded portion right here is going to be just 5 18th of the whole circle's area. So the main takeaway here is rather than just flat out memorizing your equations, try to understand what each of these things represent. That's why in my lectures, I always tell you focus on understanding rather than memorizing. If you just memorize this equation, you're not going to be able to see this connection right there and you're going to end up going the long way and have time issues on the SAT. So that's going to be it. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video with faster ways to solve these tough questions. See you later. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.